Hey Fit Fam, some of you guys were asking me after last night's call about how to stay on task with inviting and inspiring daily. So you're supposed to inspire five people a day and invite three people a day and sometimes that gets a little crazy and you end up maybe reaching out to one person or maybe you don't reach out to anybody and then one day you have a rock star day and you do five or seven or ten. Um, so I'm just going to share with you a secret how I used to invite and inspire when I first started out before I made my contact list. Um, you can still do this. I still think this is a really great way to stay organized. It's a little bit of pen and paper, so um, not everybody uses this system or you might not even like this idea, but this is what helped me. I bought a, um, a recipe box. Can you guys see this? It's basically a recipe box or a box that will hold note cards. And I bought um, dividers for a whole month. So it's going to be um, 1 through 31, just dividers. And basically, I would go to the date. So today is the 16th, and I would pull out a blank note card, and I would write on it who I was going to inspire or invite that day. Um, and I would basically get that from my Facebook page. Um, and that would be my list I was going by when I first started. My four, 400 people, I would go down through that list. So for the 16th, um, of February, I invited, or excuse me, I inspired Melanie, Amy, Kim, Beth, and Glennis. So up here at the top, can you guys see that? I know it's backwards. Um, and then the second row are the people I invited. So I have my three invites, Crystal, Eileen, and Shauna. And then out from that, I would list, um, out from the invites, I would list the type of response. So NR means no response or crickets. Boo. Or um, for Crystal, she wanted me to reach out to her sister. And her sister has a great story. She actually is on her fourth 21-day um, fix round. And she just became a discount coach. She loves Shakeology. And she just ordered Pio to be a part of my Pio fix hybrid group. So again, that just shows you how vital these are because I reached out to Crystal because I knew her from pageant days way back in the day. And she didn't join, but she referred me to her sister who was looking for a way to lose weight because um, they want to have another baby. So she was a cold lead, but if I hadn't have done this and re reached out to those people, I wouldn't have her as a challenger and I wouldn't have her as a discount coach. This is actually a great example. Then what I would do is um, I reached out to this person on February the 16th or these people on February the 16th. I would put them back under the 16th and then put them at the back of the box. And then when they come back up in um, March of March of 16th, I would go in and um, contact these people again. So either I'm going to inspire them or I'm going to invite them again. Um, I'm basically going to go back through these people until they either give me a yes or a not now or no or put me in Facebook jail. Just kidding. I'm not going to hammer it home that much. But just want to give you guys this quick, easy tip. Um, hopefully it helps some of you all. And, uh, and maybe it won't. But this is how I started. And um, it's helped me. So thanks, guys.